video of human anatomy presents the practical skills with my modern digestive system. The stomach has four parts. Cardia, with the contents of the esophagus empty into the stomach. Fundus, formed by the upper curvature of the organ. Body of the stomach, the main central region. And pyloric part, the distal section of the organ. Borders of the stomach are presented by greater curvature on the left side and lesser curvature on the right side. There are anterior and posterior walls of the stomach. The stomach wall has following tissue layers. Mucosa, where we can see longitudinal folds along lesser curvature. Next, muscular layer, which we may see on the part of the stomach and serous layer, external layer of the stomach. Small intestine consists of the duodenum located extraperitoneally and mesenterial part, which presented by jejunum and ileum. The duodenum is the first and shortest part of the small intestine. It is C-shaped, caught around the head of the pancreas. The duodenum is divisible into four parts. Superior part, descending part, horizontal part, and ascending part. The second part of small intestine, the jejunum, begins at the duodenal jejunal flexure, where the digestive tract resumes an intraperitoneal course. The third part of the small intestine, the ileum, ends at the ileocecal junction, the union, uh, the union of the terminal ileum and the cecum. The large intestine consists of following parts. Cecum, this verbum form appendix, ascending colon, transverse colon, descending colon, sigmoid colon, and rectum which is not visible at this complex of organs. The large intestine externally can be distinguished from small intestine by following features. First, formidable appendices, they are small fatty amentum-like projections. Next, tenia coli, three distinct longitudinal bands, and halstra. Circulations of the wall of the colon between the tenia. <music> Diaphragmatic surface of the liver. It is smooth and dome shaped. On this surface, student must be able to show falciform ligament, which divides surface into left and right lobes. Visceral surface of the liver. There are three grooves on the visceral surface of the liver. The right sagittal fissure is a continuous groove formed anteriorly by the fossa of the gallbladder and posteriorly by the groove for the vena cava. The umbilical left sagittal fissure is a continuous groove formed anteriorly by the fissure for the round ligament and posteriorly by the fissure for the ligament venosa. And portahepatis is a transverse fissure on the visceral surface of the liver. Between these grooves, students should be able to show quadrate lobe of the liver and caudate lobe of the liver. The gallbladder lies in the fossa for the gallbladder on the visceral surface of the liver. The pear-shaped gallbladder has three parts. The pandas, the white blunt end that usually projects from the inferior border of the liver, 
body, main portion, and neck, narrow taping end opposite the fundus and directed towards the porta hepatis. On this complex of organs, we can see the common hepatic duct, which unites with cystic duct to form the common bile duct, or ductus haledochus, which conveys the bile to the duodenum. Students should be able to show the layers of the peritoneum and its derivates. It is possible to show parietal peritoneum on the inferior surface of the diaphragm. Visceral peritoneum covers internal organs of the abdominal cavity. Derivates of the peritoneum Great amenthal. It's a peritoneal fold passing from the stomach to the transverse colon, hanging like an apron in front of the intestine, consisting of four layers of peritoneum. The lesser amenta is a double layer of peritoneum that extends from the liver to the lesser cavity of the stomach and the start of the duodenum consisting from ligamentum hepatogastricum and ligamentum hepatoduodenale. The mesentery is a double layer of the peritoneum that suspends the jejunum and ileum from the posterior wall of abdominal cavity. The transverse mesocolon is a broad near the fold of peritoneum which connects the transverse colon to the posterior wall of abdominal cavity. And another derivates of the peritoneum, there are the falciform ligament. It's a double layer of the peritoneum which passes from the inferior surface of the diaphragm on visceral surface of the liver. Along the posterior border of the liver, we may see the coronary ligament and its extension on left part, it's a left triangular ligament, and on right side, the right triangular ligament. Thank you for attention.